Good day fish people, it's a very rainy day in the Cape and we are now at Brackenfell Pits. It's not a big store but it's one of my favourite places and I'll tell you why as we go inside. Right here we are inside. Lots of dry goods and there's a fish corner on the one side of the shop. Then you've got the black sand and some starter kits and what I do like about them I was here once you know this 15 litre starter kit and somebody wanted to buy it for a goldfish and they explained to them that it's way too small for a goldfish a goldfish needs a much bigger tank and uh, they sold them some white cloud mountain minnows instead which is a very nice beginner's fish goes well on a small setup so the fact that they don't sell goldfish in small bowls or two small tanks, that's what I like. I'm going to go straight to the fish. So those of you who are not interested in the dry goods can then tune out. Okay, we've got some, some sawtails and inlet type guppies there. And what I like as well, they use, use a lot of local breeders. Here we have some red phantom tetras, some glow lights, some is algae eaters. The one thing that gets rid of blackbeard algae fast. Obviously you must address the cause. But they have one thing that will eat it actually. They clear your tank in a week's time. And here's my favorite fishy here in the shop. And that's a green spotted puffer. He's developed a tumor there on his tail fin. But they tell me that it does fall off and then it stops for a while. Here's a big display. I like doing a bit of DIY with an on top tank sump. You can see it's one of those canisters taking water up and up again. And yeah, oh, it looks like about a, a meter by a meter by a meter cube to me. But it's a big tank. You'll see it's a nice hoplo cat. And you can see some big, a big Siamese algae eater. That's how big they can become. Diamond tetras, black ruby bulbs, nice sized dwarf neon rainbow fish, and an angel. Not for sale, it's their old own goldfish. As I've mentioned, they don't like the goldfish in small tanks or small, too small tanks or bowls. Matten filter. Two sawtail babies. Some very nice guppies, some koi guppies as well. And look at the prices, not, not bad either. Some mollies. Lots of fry. Some big Anubias as well. Yeah. 
some glowfish Daniels. Here's all your female guppies. Neon tetras, bronze cori, Some nice java fern on the wood, or java fern, java moss. Some gold white clouds. Rummy noses. Some very good prices here on lights, as you can see. Here's what I do like. Foam pads, you can cut it to size for your filter. Not bad prices, 35 centimeter cube, 30 centimeter cube. Once again, some handy stuff here is that egg crate material that you can use to separate the tank when you have aggressive fish or as a cover but that you can use for all sorts of DIY application. Very popular to open tennis the filter. Look at the price. Just over two thousand for the open sixteen hundred canister. Not bad at all. All the usual medications. Very knowledgeable staff who care for the critters and that's why I like them. Not the biggest variety, but you always, they never sell you a sick fish here, I never had anything die here. If something is sick, they quarantine it and they treat it before they sell it to you. And lots of locally bred stuff, so it varies from week to week. So these guppies are from Sri Lanka. If you want imported guppies, that's your source. That's where you want them imported from. 
You'll see there's some koi males there as well. And at 50 bucks each, I think it's a very, very good price. I've kept guppies as a kid and bred some of them like most of us did and then never again because I had I have soft water and uh, even if I hardened the water I always had very bad luck with them but I got about six of these guppies four females two males and they've been in my tank now I did harden the water a little bit it's a dirty tank and there's some bone meal in the swell part underneath the sand that gives my pH about 7.5 uh, and these guppies are very healthy they've been going now in my tank for months and uh, no signs of any disease any shimmies nothing like that so I was quite pleasantly surprised to find some healthy guppies for a change you get the most wonderful colors at some shops but especially if they imported from uh, Thailand and those places are heavily medicated and then after a month or so they have a shimmies or even quicker than that or get some weird disease and infect the tank so I do like I do like the guppies that they've got here and of course these goldfish as well Unfortunately, they're not for sale. It's very easy to see quality goldfish. And that's it. So give Brackenfell Pets a visit. And take care of those denizens of the deep. That's it from me. Enjoy fish keeping.